What's up, guys? It's me, your badass history video. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so first and foremost, thank you guys again for 7,000 subscribers. It was really good. And yes, I did predict it. Someone was an asshole, unsubscribed, and then subscribed again. You know, that kind of stuff. But I'm not angry at you. Anywho, in our last episode, this is the very first episode, and we actually got ourselves our very first Pokemon, which is our good old buddy, Cinder. And he doesn't seem used to... Yeah, yeah, he doesn't... Cinder doesn't seem used to its own name yet. It's used to Cyndaquil and all that stuff. And, uh, well, now it's time to continue our adventure right here. We're just going to be walking by, and of course... Professor Holmes is going to be like, Draven, I want you to have these to help you uh, with your task. And looking at it, we get ourselves some potions. You know, bud, it would be cool if you would have just given us some poke, uh, Pokeballs. You know, I would rather much have Pokeballs. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if, you're, if you think yours is in danger. Now, that, there is one thing to this Pokemon that I have right here. Uh, actually, it doesn't have anything. Oh, okay. So normally in Pokemon uh, Heart Gold or Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, they come out with berries on them, but they don't have them right here. And look at this. Look at it. It's Lyra and her big blue. And let's see. What are you looking at? Draven. So you pick Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you talk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Well, she's leaving. And, of course, Pika Blue's looking at my Pokemon, and, well... You know what? Let's go right ahead and take a look at, uh... Well, let's talk to mom and see what she thinks about my Pokemon right here. So, uh, where are you? Right here. Now, once you go inside the... Inside your house, talk to mom, and she's like, Oh, Draven, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm. Has he task for you, uh, uh, do you say? What kind of a task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes you, makes that a kind of a request of you, it's important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. And look at that, we get ourselves a Pokegear. A new, a new, new, new slot to this whole thing right here. And she's like, the Pokegear, a poor, or Pokegear, or Pokemon Gear, or Pokegear, as it's call, often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokegear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? I'm just gonna put yes, but they're gonna still give us the instructions right here. As you can see, just power on the Pokegear and touch the telephone button. Okay? That names off, or the, the names off the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Now, in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, uh, yeah, it's so much easier. Actually, you got I think you got unlimited uh, slots to get phone numbers and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, you don't you don't really have to talk to the person to get your phone number. After you battle a specific person, they will give you a phone number. Then bam, they just automatically give you the phone number. Now we will be getting that kind of random uh, phone call and all that stuff. Now I'm gonna be switching up the theme right here. Let's see, change it to this one. Ooh, that looks uh like samurai and all that stuff. But what about this one right here? Look at that. Oh yeah, we are elite. Or, we could go straight to Team Rocket right here, look at that. I kinda like the Elite one right here. Okay, so, let's see, let's get this out of here. And, let's go ahead and walk straight to the next town right here. It's Cherry Grove City, I would, leave, I would like to see. And, uh, well, there's nothing restricting us. We can just move on right here. And before we go anywhere, Professor Elm's like, wait, wait one second! The heck do you want? And he's like, I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. And look at that. We got ourselves a phone number. Another phone number right there. That's always the second number. Okay, so I will see you a little bit later. And, well, it is time for us to just move on right here. Now, we're in Route 29 right here. And, I don't know, wait. We don't get an instructor or anything like that. No, we don't. So we're going to be going straight to Route 29. And we don't even have... We don't even have... Yeah, we don't even have our, uh, what was it, our running shoes right here. And we get attacked by a Rattata, so we're just going to be going for straight up tackles right here. Power up our Cinder, and hopefully, just hopefully, uh, we we get a little stronger by the time we battle a certain someone. If you guys don't, 
don't know what I'm talking about. And unfortunately for us, yeah, tackle, not the best attack, especially for Cinder right here, since it's not very physical. And look at that, 16 experience points. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna keep on walking. And I can hear the music, so I'm gonna, there we go. I'm gonna go a little faster right there. And I talk to this guy, he's like, hey, how are you, uh, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak, they're not ready for a battle, keep them out of the grass. This is true. Okay, so let's move on right here and just do the typical thing right now and find some items, not battle any kind of Pokemon that we don't need, and get on our way right here. Now, let's see, what was I going to say? Yes, now this is going to be a weekend kind of a Pokemon game for right now. I know what you guys are thinking. Draven, you've already, you, 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 you're coming out with a bunch of walkthroughs. If you may remember when you were Draven XC711, yeah, you kind of sort of uh, overdid it with the walkthroughs. Trust me, guys. I stocked up on videos. I really did. We're close to being done with Liquid Crystal. Actually, we're already done with it. We're already done with it. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's one hell of a ride. Uh, Pokemon Black. I'm done with the with the main game. So that leaves me with what's next, and that is Pokemon X, which. I don't know, I don't think we will be seeing it until like maybe the month, like maybe July. I'd like to say July. Just so we can get a few episodes of Park Golden and all that stuff. And then Omega Ruby. Oh man. I'm already at episode episode 70. So don't worry guys, I got this all handled. Everything's stocked up. You guys will be having videos for days. That's all I have to say right here. And well, this hoot hoot has nothing and look at that cinder grows to level 16 or 6 and it grows or it learns smoke screen so that's pretty good right there now let's just continue on right here keep on battling yes i'm gonna keep on showing the guys the battles right here because you know it, there should be a, a small entertainment portion towards this right here as you can see here we have another hoo hoo cinder ready to kick some ass take them names and all that stuff right here and here comes that forest site i don't even know why you're using that it's not gonna work. So here we go. Tackle attack. Nearly beats him. And yes, another. Uh, we another. We get another tackle right here. Look at that. Hoo hoo. Defeated. Okay. So in our last episode, I did mention that we will be seeing some Pokemon from previous uh, iterations. Let's talk to this guy. I wanted to take a, to take a break, so I saved my uh, to record my progress, which you can do. We will be visiting this area in the next episode, hopefully. That way, you know, when we get Pokemon and all that crud. But like I said. I will be uh, bringing in some Pokemon from the past. Uh, my current team. Well, a lot of my team, a lot of my team members on Pokemon Heart Gold might be a little bit the same. There's going to be a few changes here and there. I just did some research on what Pokemon you can actually capture here in Pokemon Heart Gold, and not the same Pokemon in Crystal, but still a nice amount to you know to make it up right here. So you guys will be seeing some new faces. Some of the same faces and all. Oh, some of the new, some of the uh, some of the old. And whenever we get the chance to actually, oh look at that, we got an apricorn. We can't get that apricorn crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Well, whenever the time comes, hopefully we'll see. We'll keep on battling them right here in this remake uh, game. So now talk to this guy. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear in the morning. So as you probably already noticed. Uh, we can only see Hoot Hoot right here. Normally you'd see Pidgeys, Raditas, or yeah, you'll still see Raditas and all that stuff, but you'll see Hoot Hoots right here because they come in at night. Now if you come in here, Cherry Grove City, this old man's going to look at you and he's like, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay then, follow me. Do not have a choice in the matter. And homie here is like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keep you, try keeping up. All right. So Lexi, he's gonna be like, this is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Look at that. He's teaching us uh, the basics that we have already known for like about 20 years already. Uh, this is a Pokemon. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Oh, look at this. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Look 
at this. You just doing the tutorials? I'm, I, yeah, I'm keeping up. I'm not running or anything like that. This guy is fast for his age, and he's gonna be like, this is the sea. As you can see, some people or some Pokemon are found only in the water. And I see a big old tubby guy out there. We will eventually battle him, and again, he is quick for his age. How old are you? 129. Here, it's my house. For your, or for your effort in keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Oh, got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. And look at that, we received the running shoes from the guy gent. And this instruction, or the instructions read, touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button to hold down the sprint, which is true. So here's a little new doodad right here. Now if you press B, you can start running, but if you see the option right there onto your left side of the screen, if you click on it, you're gonna keep on running forever. You're just gonna be, that's that's it, it's gonna hold. So I'm gonna press the B button right here. And actually, hold on, that's not it. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm just gonna walk, actually, you know what, screw it. We're gonna be running everywhere, that's why. That's right, we're gonna be fit, we're gonna be uh, lowering that cholesterol, you know, uh, 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 the, the lung capacity and all that stuff, blood pressure down, that's right, we can power up a rocket ship, that's right, that's a personal trainer to me and all that stuff, so we're gonna be pressing this, and first thing is first, uh, let's go straight to the Pokemon Center, and just heal our Pokemon, because the next thing we're gonna be doing is gonna be pretty intense, so hello to the welcome po or to the Pokemon Center, and let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Let's go, Cinder. Now, another thing cool about this game is that, yes, you are walking with your Pokemon just like you did in Pokemon Yellow. Something that I wish they could have done in the later versions, like in a Ru or not, not Ruby, but I mean, in Black and White, uh, X and Y and all that stuff. It would have been easier for us to check your, the, how your Pokemon are feeling. Now, we're going to be taking a small visit right here and, well, let's go ahead and see what this guy has to say. Hold on. You're trying to see how good you are as a Pokemon trainer. You better visit the Pokemon gyms all over Johto to collect badges. And this kid will be saying, when I get older, I'm going to be a gym leader. I make my Pokemon battle with my friends to make them tougher. That is true. Now, is there anything here? Actually, we gotta go visit this homeboy right here and see if he actually gives us anything else. And he's like, when I was a weed lad, I was a hot shot trainer. Here's some word of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon, but you can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to the, your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there is no need to be alarmed. Remember, remember what I tell you, or what I'm about to tell you. Treat them all with the utmost kindness. Okay, alrighty. Another thing too, if you have your Pokemon in the front of the, the team, they, you know, they, their happiness will go up. As you can see this kid, uh, he's looking around and he's like, he's happy. Your Pokemon is smelling the scent of the flowers. That is cool. So let's see. What if we go up here? And let's see. Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form. I wonder what that could be. I heard they, I heard they catch or they each Pokemon has its own nature and it's some. It has something to do with its Pokemon stats, which is true. Very very true. Never really took that into in a consideration when I started playing. So now. Let's see, I want to go straight to the Pokemon the Pokemon right here, and I'm actually going to buy a few antidotes because in the area that we're going to be at, there's going to be quite a few Bug-type Pokemon that will kind of mess you up, so I'm going to buy five antidotes just in case, and well, two Paralysis Heal because not a lot of Pokemon will paralyze you by this point right now. Remember guys, I am a magnet when it comes to getting par paralyzed and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are, back, and it is time to go straight to Route 30. Before we leave, the old gent is right here, and he's going to be like, huh, huh, I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy gent loaded the map card to Draven's Pokegear, which is cool. Very, very cool. And let's see, select the Pokegear on the touchscreen, and then select the town map icon. You'll see the map from, of the region you're currently in. The Pokegear becomes more useful as uh, you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's see, where's the Pokegear? Oh yeah, there it is. So let's see, we've taken care of that. Now we have the map option right here. As you can see, we are in Cherry Grove, about to hit Route 30. And, well, 
There's a lot of stuff that you can actually visit right here. It's not like the Pokemon Liquid Crystal uh, map where you have all this, but then you got Route 100 right here, and then you got all these other islands and then secret places and all that stuff. That's just like, it was crazy. Nope, regular old Johto, and here's your phone as well. And that is pretty much it right there. So let's go and continue on our adventure right here at Route 30. We're running, we're feeling fit, and good dang it, getting attacked by a Pokemon. And it's a typical red attack. Yes, we are going to be battling these Pokemon because I don't think we're going to be battling any kind of trainer just like just about right now. And, well, here comes a, you know, good tackle attack right here. Look at that. Cinder grows to level 7. Okay. Now, I get it. Maybe some of you guys may like it. Some of you may not. But I kind of do like the, the fact that it, the battles are just as... You know, a little, little sped up. They're not like, you know... Well, I'm not skipping all of them. Anywho, if you talk to this guy... Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They, they make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But beware of wild Pokemon and, tra and trainers. When you run, the noise will attract them. Really? Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's see. Here we are in the first area. And unfortunately, we can't get the apricorn right here. There's a little something special that you need to get in order to get the apricorn. I think it's an apricorn patch or something, or a box or whatever. And then, let's see, if you talk to this guy, people usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You did me mean to visit my house, right? Kinda. Oh, how kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees uh, bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees too. Apricorns are really something you can make a Pokeball, or you can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling that this is meant to be. I'm so happy that I'll give you this. We get ourselves the apricorn box. This is awesome. With that apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a, de a decent apricorn collector. Now, in Johto, you are unable to actually get different kinds of apricorns right here. And if you pop them out, bam, this thing pops out. You get a green apricorn. Eventually, you will be able to turn them into Pokeballs. Different kinds of Pokeballs that will work in different ways. Kinda wish they kinda, you know, fix that situation in the other regions too. Again, like many of you guys, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, one of my favorite games of all time just because it's the complete package. It not only has two regions, but it adds a little bit more of the legendaries from every region that you've covered so far. And you know, it kind of, yeah, it, co it covers a, a few stories, or a few unfinished stories that we haven't yet completed in the Heart Gold, or in the, the Gold, Silver, and uh, Crystal series. Like, you know, the trainer's, uh, Silver, uh, Sil Silver's backstory, you know, of who his real daddy is, and what his motives are. A Pokemon can use its, mo its moves as long as, it, as the moves still have PP. When a move has no PP remaining, that Pokemon cannot use that move. Then you should take your Pokemon to the Pokemon Center now. What kind of it? What are you talking about? Is that an in your window? Like a PP or something? I don't even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. So, Mr. Pokemon is ahead. But as you can see right here, they're going to be battling. He's like, go, Rattata! Tackle! They're battling right now. What? This is a big battle! Leave me alone! Oh, wow. Dick much? I don't even know. Okay, so let's head on to Mr. Pokemon's house right here. And on the way, let's go ahead and just train our Pokemon a little bit. I don't know, probably so it could, uh, I don't know, learn another move except for Smokescreen, Leer, and all that crud. I don't even know. I wonder what level it actually learn, or learns Ember. I don't know, but yeah, we're not doing so hot right now. So let's go with another Tackle Attack. And why are you continuing to use Foresight? I don't know, so Tackle Attack again, one more. Same deal, every single time. Okay, tackle attack, for the win, suck on that. And we, oh wow, we were close, so close, and we might get our opportunity right here. And would you look at that, spin rack. Cool Pokemon right there. Now, let's see, poison sting, and we almost got poisoned, but luckily, look at that. Tackle attack does its thing, and we grow to level eight. Doesn't learn any moves. God dang it. Okay. God dang it. Getting attacked by a lot of Pokemon. Screw it. We're going to be battling. I don't care. If this belongs to the episode a little bit, I don't care. 
So, let's see. I will be dropping this episode. Well, I'm currently recording it on May 23rd. May 23rd and all that stuff. And, uh, well, it will be dropped on my mother's birthday. So, happy birthday, mama. I don't know if this is for her, but, you know, she knows I love her. <laughs> and here we go. Apricorn tree. And it's the color pink. Favorite color of my mama. And it's a pink apricorn. We get ourselves a pink apricorn. I believe that turns into a love... A love ball, I think. Could be wrong. So let's see. Yes, this is Mr. Pokemon's house. Let's go right in and visit the old bastard. See what he has to say. And look at that. He looks at it. He's like, you must be Draven. It was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. Oh, damn. Look at that. Look at that. He's grabbing something. He's going to give it to us. And this is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg. Okay. A friend of mine from Ekrita gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best in uh, when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you, thank you very much. And just like that, homeboy right here recognizes us and he's like, and with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Draven. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, and so I waited here. Look at that. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see, you must be helping Professor Elm research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you this uh, that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on your Pokemon you've, ha you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech enc encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Bam, we get ourselves another option right there. Look at that. Go meet kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to go, or I have to get back to Goldenrod for my radio show. Draven. I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. Bam, look at that, we get, we get his phone number. That's right, we're the prettiest girl on the, on the block right here. And he will be leaving, so I think that's about it, right? Let's see, sorry to trouble you, having you go back and forth, but please make sure to hand it to Professor Elm. Okay, so first is first, let's go right ahead and take a look at that Pokedex, as you can see. Looks lovely, split into two and stuff. So, we only got one Pokemon right now. It, we don't know where to find this Pokemon, but this Pokedex right here will actually show you, uh, show you when you can actually capture the Pokemon. Morning, day, or night, and all that stuff. And it will give you a size comparison, as you can see. I am a, a fat fuck in comparison of uh, to, to, see, to, to, to Cinder right here. Now, in real life, I weigh 200 pounds. Yeah, 200 pounds. And... Uh, yeah, not that great. Now, it will actually give you different kinds of forms, like it can give you shiny forms, male, female forms, and all that stuff. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, doesn't it have a description right here? I don't even know. Oh, yes, there it is. It is timid and always curls itself in a ball. If attacked, it flares up its back for protection. Which is cool, very good defense because it's all fire and everything. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Now, we're getting a phone call right here from Professor Elm, and he's like... <laughs> Hello, Draven? It's a disaster! It's just terrible! What should I do? It... Oh no! Please get back here now! And just like that, we have a... a well, there's a trouble afoot. And normally I would stop right here, but why should I? You know what? Let's go right ahead and... You know, let's go be heroes. Let's complete that part. That way we don't have to uh, mess around or anything like that. So as you can see, bam, we're getting attacked by another spin rack. I'm going to keep on battling. I have a good feeling that my Pokemon will learn an Ember attack, and then it won't be so hard for him to battle the next Pokemon that might come along. I'm just saying. And look at that. 15 experience points right there. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Okay. We're purposely going through the grass just for this, guys. And here we have another Hoot Hoot. Now, remember, it is nighttime. In the daytime, you would normally see Spearow, you would normally see, uh, normally see Pidgey, 
uh, Furret, or not Furret, but Sentret and all that stuff, so eh, we will be battling in the morning time and all that crud. And let's see, Tackle Attack again does it. More experience points for all of us, yes sir. We need one more battle. No, I just need one more Pokemon battle. Pokemon battle, I should say. Trying to speak here, guys, but I've had a long day. Long, long day. And here we have Radita. Okay, so let's battle. Yeah, buddy. And he's coming with that tackle attack, so we're going again. Another tackle attack, Palooza. And another one, and here we go. Suck on that. There we go. And we grow to level 9, and it doesn't learn anything. So we're going to wait for... We're, we're going to wait a while. Okay, so here we are in Cherry Grove, and let's go ahead and heal my Pokemon first, because I kind of want to be better prepared for all that stuff. Okay, tired? Yes, yes, yes. Anywho, let's see. Is there anything else I need to talk about? Well, like I said, guys, this game will be, for now on, for right now, right now it will be a weekend-only kind of walkthrough. Uh, still need to complete everything else. And I'm hoping to be done with the majority of the walkthroughs by the time well, by the time June rolls around. So we're in good pace. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Oh damn! The red-headed stepchild that we don't like. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste! That's a Pokemon that's too good for a whip like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? No, actually no. I kicked your ass quite a few times in the old versions, including new ones. Well. I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Bam. Okay, so here it is, guys. Our first rival battle against Question Mark or Passer Boy. Passer by Boy, and he comes out with a Total Dial Pokemon that I kind of wanted. And here we go, Tackle Attack, but he has the Scratch Attack. The good thing is that I, I overpower him by four levels, and he's like, Hmph. okay, I didn't read that on time, but look at this. Continue on with the attacks, and he's just gonna keep it. Uh, he's gonna keep on using Leer, and bam, just like that, Cinder kicks him butt. And, well, hmm, are you happy you won? Yes, kinda. Do you wanna know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Oh, damn, he pushed me aside, and. <laughs> He's looking around, and after that, he's gonna be like, Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name! You're pretty stupid for a smart guy. I'm just gonna say that right now. You're pretty, uh, you're pretty uh, stupid. Like my, uh, my Latin friends would say. You're pretty uh, stupid, Draven. But he is pretty uh, stupid himself. Okay, so, again, purposely going into the grass just to level up my Pokemon. Kinda got plans. I got Pokemon that I know I want to capture and all that stuff. And, uh, yes, it, it's gonna have to go through a bunch of hoo-hoos just to beat this guy up. So here we go again, another tackle attack. And final tackle attack right here. On Dragon Ball Z. Ah, oh, crud, we... Yeah, this is gonna be a while, so we might not even get to level 10 by the time we, we get done with this episode right here. So let's continue on right now. Yep, not even gonna get to level 10. Oh, well, never mind. Might find a rare Pokemon or anything like that. I don't know. You know, one time, this is a true story. I found a shiny Pokemon right around this point right here, and the effed up part about that was that I could not capture it because I didn't have any Pokeballs. How messed up is that? Comment down below, guys, if you have a messed up story about shiny Pokemon or anything like that. Comment down below. I would like to hear that. That's one of my stories. There's plenty of other stories that I have, and you guys would probably be laughing at me right now. So there we go, Cinder defeats this Hoo and, well, it doesn't grow levels. Well, yeah, okay. All right, let's go back to uh, to uh, New Bark Town, and as you can see, everybody's waiting for us, so let's just go into the lab, and we're going up here. Police officer's like, who are you? We're investigating this case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be, did you did it? No, he didn't do it. He just, uh, look, look at that. My Biffle is like, hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a redhead boy looking into the building. See? Get yourself a girl like Lyra. She has your back. That's right. What? You battled the boy like that? He must have been the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Uh, true, yes, we did get his name now. 
he didn't really give us a name, you know, it's not like Gold, Silver, and Crystal where he's like, my name is question mark, question mark, question mark, which is hilarious. But we could think of a good name. But me, I'm a traditionalist. I'm just gonna name him Silver right here. I usually call him Giovanni Jr. I don't even know why. So let's just call him Silver. Because that's his real name, right? Silver. I see. So Silver was his name. Yes, it was. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for the red hair individual. Walk it away. Walk it away. And, well, let's see. Draven, I'm glad they understand you are an innocent. See you later. See what I mean, guys? Get yourself a girl like Lyra. Okay. Draven, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's this big discovery? And look at that. We give him the Pokemon egg. He's happy. He's like, huh? Is this a... Is this an egg, isn't it? This... This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, he, we might we might as well find out the, the secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out what, about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Draven, is that true? That That's incredible. He is superb at seeing potential of people or the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Draven. I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all gym leaders, you'll individually uh, or you'll eventually uh, challenge the Pokemon League or the Pokemon League Champion. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not all that easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Draven, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. So, that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, normally I end my episodes right here. I do it part for part. But I kind of want to get done with a few essentials right here before we go into the next episode. Because we don't want to waste any time in the next episode. Let's just take care of business and talk to mom. That way she doesn't worry about us like my current mom. By the way, my mom's birthday is tomorrow. So, happy birthday to my mom again. <laughs> so, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help you too, but what can I do for you? I know, every time you receive private money, I'll save you or sa I'll save some for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? Well, you know. Yeah, you know what? I trust you. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. Alright, Mama. Blowing you a kiss. Happy birthday. I will see you a little bit later. Now, let's go ahead and finish off this episode with them teaching me how to Pokemon. So, here we are, and Lara's looking at us, and there you are. She's looking at us right now. Draven, you can catch wild Pokemon with the Pokeballs. Follow me. Okay, look at that. She's walking, and we're getting into the grass. Of course, she's going to be jumping up and down, and there comes a Peekaboo looking up and down. They're jumping up and down and dancing and all that stuff, and just like that. Huh? Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. So wait, did she actually count a Pokemon without... Oh, wow. She was pretty quick right there. So here's a tutorial of her teaching us how to capture Pokemon. She's going to be using her Meryl. Of course, we already know how to do this. I'm just getting it over and done with that way... That way we can, you know, go on with the next episode, I guess. I think that's what it is. Okay, so come on, throw that Pokeball. Throw that Pokeball. There we go. Pokeball, go. Bam. Look at that. She's got herself a Pokemon. Look at that. Pretty cool. And she's going to be like, see? Just like that. It's better that you lower the target's HP more than I did. Or make it sleep or something. You can try all things, or all kinds of things, to see what works. I'll give you these. Good luck. And look at that, we get ourselves Pokeballs. Okay, alrighty. See ya! Okay, so let's continue on right here. Let's battle. Let's grow our Cinder to level 10. And yeah, well, we'll stop at Cherry Grove because uh, that's that's the that's the more awesome thing to do right here. Now. 
guys haven't noticed, uh, this is the second game, a uh, DS game, that I've act I'm actually playing on my desktop. Now, remember, I did a, I did a non-live com, or plus com uh, on my uh, Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Kind of took me a while to get used to it again because, yeah, like for six whole years. No, actually, I lie. I lied. For eight years, I did post comps and all that stuff. But then once I got used to the whole live comment and all that crud, bam, everything went by smoothly. And look at that. You learned Ember. Finally. Yeah, everything went by smoothly. And I don't know. You know, right here, I uh, got myself a desktop. Everything's working a lot faster, as you probably already noticed. Uh, recordings become easier that's why you know I'm popping out all these walkthroughs especially since this pandemic has started up and all that crud I mean what was it it's close it's damn near two months two months of this whole pandemic and I think good old Draven's a little tired of just you know going with the, the pandemic and all that stuff and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys too who are watching my channel um, again Earlier this morning, uh, May 23rd, we finally reached 7,000 subscribers and all that stuff twice. And many of you guys already know this, that my goal for the end of the year, and hopefully this actually happens, is that we get to 10,000 subscribers. Been wanting that for quite some time, and if that happens, man, that is um, that is quite some success right there. And, well, as you can see, battling more Pokemon as always. Look at that. I'm taking advantage of the whole Ember attack right here. Now, I'm not trying to grow my Cinder a little too quickly because... Eventually, we're going to have to try and capture some Pokemon, and it's going to be a little difficult for me. So, let's grab this. And look at that. We found ourselves another Apricorn, and that's a green Apricorn. Pretty cool. Awesome. Alrighty, so, let's see. Uh, hold on just a sec. Hold on, hold on. Let's go to the bag right here and take a look at this stuff. Again, I'm going to have to try and get used to looking at the bag, too. It's been a while since I've been on Pokemon uh, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. And let's see, what the hell? Oh yeah, we. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have to choose. Let's see, find Pokeballs. No TMs. Berry pockets. Mail. Berry or battle items. And here we have an Apricorn box. Okay, so let's just take a look at how many Apricorns we got. So as you can see, we got three Apricorns, two different kinds. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff right there. Okay, so let's go straight to Cherry Grove. And there it is, guys. We finally reached Cherry Grove City. And, well, in the next episode, it's going to be fun, guys. We're going to be capturing our very first Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you guys already have an idea what it is. And, uh, well, let's see. By the time I drop this, it's going to be May 24th. So, like I said, guys, this is gonna for right now, it's going to be a weekend-only kind of thing. I'm thinking of dropping maybe three to five episodes on Saturday and Sunday, depending on how it is or anything like that. I'm still, like, at this moment, I'm still trying to upload everything else. So, chances are it might be three, chances it might be two. It doesn't really matter. I don't even know, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the first two episodes of my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. I will see you guys next time for episode three, where we capture our next Pokemon. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.